Welcome to Blues Basics, lesson number two with Dave I. We're hitting the rhythm guitar stuff today. Let me play through it for you here. Still blues in A. Three and four and... <laughs> It's called 12 bar blues because if you count how many measures I played through there, there are exactly 12. And that's the only reason why it's called the 12 bar blues. We're playing a blues in A. So we're starting with an A power chord. Open A string and second fret of the D string. Just those two strings. So you could basically play through this and just do doing that basically for every chord. For D, we would do the same thing open D string, second fret G. A is the one chord. D is the four chord. E is the five chord, the same thing. Open E, second fret on the A string. Why are they called one, four, five chords? Because in A, A is going to be one, okay? And then if you go like this, A, B, C, D, Four notes away from A, of course, is D. All right, so that makes D the four chord. We skipped the other things in between. And, of course, if you went one more note from D, right, you got to five, it would be E. E is five notes away from A. All right, so we're just taking those. That's the most popular chord combination. That's why it's called a one, four, five chord progression. Now, we want to go a little bit beyond just going and add those other notes you saw me playing. So, you'll always play whatever chord you're playing, you'll play that string open. So, whenever it's A, you'll play open A. Whenever it's D, open D. Whenever E, open E. But on the string directly below that string, you'll be playing the rest of the riff, the rhythmic note repeating part. So on the D string, whenever we're playing open A, we'll be playing two, two, four, four, two, two, four, four, using the blues swing rhythm I mentioned in the last lesson of swing eighth notes, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Open A string while you're doing that. So you're hitting both strings at once. I'm just using all down strokes. Sometimes I like to palm mute it. Okay, the down strokes in this case help you to control it. And it's not particularly fast, so we can get away with doing all down strokes without wearing out the hand. D is played the same way. Of course, everything moves down a string. This hand moves down, and this hand. Open D string, second fret G and 4th fret G. So if you count that, you end up with 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and next measure, 1 and 2 for D, 3 and 4. Now when we come back to A in the blues, in the 12-bar blues far format, when you, come, when you repeat through the second time, everything doubles. So we did one measure of A, we did one measure of D. Now we're going to do two measures of A and two measures of D. And to make it more interesting, we're not going to play that riff exactly the same way, both measures. The first measure will be exactly the same as, as it was earlier. One, two, four, four, two, Two, four, four. But when we add a second measure of A, we'll spice it up a little bit 
by doing this. Two, two, four, four, five, five, four. So when you put those two measures together, you have this. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. And same thing for D. Two, and three, and four. Second measure, one, and two, and three, and four. And then we go back to A, and we do it for two measures again. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. And then the turnaround happens. When the five chord finally comes in, we're getting towards the end of the progression. And that's why it's called the turnaround. Everything's going to go back to one measure each. So for E, the more basic riff, open E and the A string, two, two, four, four, two, two, four, four, jump to D, a little bit of a jump because it's you jump in a couple strings, two, two, four, four, two, two, four, four, and then A, two, two, four, four, two, two, four, four, E. And then normally you go back to the beginning, back to A. Because you, how often would you just play through one time? Okay. However, when you're ready to end, you get to the very end of the song. Just end on A. Okay. So you're always after that last E, that last five chord, you're always coming back to A. It's just, are you going to repeat? Or are you going to end? And if you're going to end, just end with that open two. Okay, join me in the next lesson. We'll start to bring the two different things, the, the lead scale playing and the rhythm playing together.